posted really quickly. It's pretty late at night. It's about 8.30. Um, but I decided I did like a what's in my date night purse a while back. And I'll link it down below if I forget. It's on my channel somewhere because I'm always forgetting that stuff. I will link my fetch rewards down below. It's, this video is not sponsored at all. Um, but you can get points if you use my code to sign up. And then I'll get points. I also have a survey junkie. I'll link that down below where you just do surveys and you get money back for surveys. They pay you cash and you credit it to your PayPal and then credit it to your checking account and you make cash. And I've done it multiple times, never lost money from my account from it. it it's legit. And then I also have a Mercari online sales listing place. So I will link that down below with Christmas coming up. I'm sure you're all looking for Christmas gifts. So I will link that down below. It's a bunch of kids clothes and some women's clothes. So it may be some good ideas. So let me go ahead and jump in. I decided I would show you a regular what's in my purse. My purse tends to switch up a bit. I have about three or four different purses. Um, so it switches out pretty often. I just don't like carrying the same purse around every day. I don't like to use them up that quickly because they do wear out pretty quickly. So I'll switch them up so they last longer. Um, but this one I found at a flea market for $3. It's the flea market that I have a booth at. Sorry, this thing don't still want to clip on. And I found it for $3. I'm not sure what brand it is, but it was too cute. I picked this up. It kind of reminded me of the Louis Vuitton, but it's not the exact print and color. But I kind of like just how it was done. I've never had a bag like this. It's pretty heavy, but it does have the crossbody. And the real thing I really did like about this was it had the feet on the bottom. And then it also had the crossbody, so I don't have to carry it like this. And But it also has a big pocket in each side. So I can fit a water bottle and a sippy cup for me and Cooper for when we go out. So that is what this bag looks like. Like I said, I do. there is no brand listed in the bag. Nothing. Um, I, so I'm not sure what it is. Um, but if y'all know what this brand is or what a knockoff to this is let me know because i'm really interested in knowing um so it's pretty big um but normally i don't carry my purse in the store unless i'm going like grocery shopping or out shopping um but even if i'm going out shopping if i'm not going to like one main store i normally just take my wallet phone and keys anywhere i go and this stays in the car locked up and that way i have everything when i need it and this also kind of doubles as a diaper bag coopers too but he's still in diapers and sippy cups and things like that so um it's pretty big but it's also like I said a diaper bag so it doubles for everything I'll also keep snacks for myself in there because I do get low blood sugar um and snacks for Cooper I'll also keep like my snacks for work and different things so I travel for work um two hours out of the day so this just works perfectly to be able to put everything in there that I need so it has the little one zipper top that goes all the way across. So let me show you what's in here. And it opens up pretty big. You can see it's, it's like packed full, but I still have room in there for more. Normally have my keys. Oh, my keys are in here. So I guess we'll go ahead and show you. I was gonna tell you, I normally have my keys in there, but I did put them back in there. So I just have my keys. I'll also always keep um, this is just the one the dealership gave me when I bought it. So it's got some of the writing, but I've had it for a while and Cooper always drops it. So it's like cracked up here, if you can tell. Um, I've got a little chapstick sleeve that I really don't use. I need to replace that with something else, but it is, it is house key. And then I always keep pepper spray because um, I am not good with the gun or sun gun or anything like that. So pepper spray it is for me. And I usually keep like a little Swiss Army knife, but I don't have one on me. I ended up losing mine, so I needed to get another one. Um, you can never have too much of this type of stuff to protect yourself. And I try to be careful with having kids, so pepper spray and a little knife. And I do have a gun in the house, but I don't bring it out with me ever. Um, I keep diaper in here. I normally keep a few extra diapers in the car, but one just for when we are out shopping. If he needs changed in the store, and when I use this one up, I can just put a new one in there. Some Boudreaux's butt paste. Um, he also has one at home. I just keep this one in my purse because he does get rashes pretty bad. I have a face mask for myself because I wear it when I go out places and when I am doing work. I have a few random dollar bills just laying in here. I'm not sure where that came from. Um, I picked up this a while back. I got these on like sale and so 
I just threw them in our purse because I really enjoy these, but I had never had this flavor. So I picked up the chocolate brownie. I also have some more in the cabinet. I keep Cliff Bars. I love Cliff Bars for breakfast, so or a late breakfast, so that's one of my go-tos. So I always have two or three in here, and I think I have about three in here right now. This is just my little wallet. I found it at a flea market as well. I believe it was a flea market. Might have been Goodwill, but it's a Victoria's Secret little bag, and it's got like a thing on there, so I could clip it to my purse if I wanted, but not really the safest thing. And you can tuck it in here, which I normally do have it tucked. I just have insurance cards, um, like my casino card for when we do go, debit card, um, my change, um, rewards cards for like Goodwill. You get a stamp every time you spend 15, and when you fill it up, you get like a certain percentage off. I'm not sure who's honking out at my door, but we're just gonna ignore that for right now. And it also, like I said, if I'm going into the store, I grab this usually, and I'll grab this in my phone, and I'm good to go. And honestly, this can fit in this little bag because I do not keep it that filled up. I have a notebook. If I think of something while I'm working that I need to pick up, I'll write it down in here. Um, YouTube video ideas, I'll write down in here and just different things I need to remind myself of so I can add it into my bigger planner when I get home. I have a little pack of tissues. Got Cooper's little sunglasses. One of his little friends gave him these. My friend's daughter gave him these, and they're Nemo. So he has a pair in the car, but he's always losing them, so I keep an extra pair in my purse. Speaking of sunglasses, I have my own sunglasses. A little first aid kit because he's always falling. He has one foot that goes inward, and so um, we're having to see a doctor about that soon. But I just have, this came from Dollar Tree, and it just has like alcohol pads, band-aids, um, just different gauzes and things like that. And then I added a few of my own things, like um, Azo, in case I get like a bladder infection, because I do get those pretty often, and I can take that when it first starts and it clears it up. And then I'm also lactose intolerant, so if I want something like ice cream, I'll take one of these and have my ice cream. So, I usually keep like Tylenol or something, but I do not have any right now. I don't know... Don't ask me. I don't know. So, it is what it is. I have my own hand sanitizer in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. Um, pomegranate and vanilla scented hand sanitizer for myself. Every time I go to a client's house, when I leave their house, I put this on. And then I have an all-natural hand sanitizer spray for Cooper's hands. Because every time I put some on, he wants to use some. Or anytime we leave out of stores, put it on. And I just don't like him using the regular alcohol. So I found this, and it's the Honest Company Coastal Surf hand sanitizer. So he has his own little special bottle. I have this little Ipsy bag I found at the flea market. I don't get Ipsy. I'm not that fancy. Um, and I just keep tampons and pads in there. I've got some antibacterial wipes for if we go out and eat because... A lot of times when we do things, it's unexpected and we just last minute. So that's why I keep extra things in here. Baby wipes for when I have to change his diaper. Um, baby dove or wipe hands and faces. I've got two more little peanut butter cliff bars. I could eat two of those a day. And those are like a breakfast and a snack for me. Um, I have a small perfume. I just got one that was almost empty um, for my collection that I have. I don't have many. Uh, maybe about five. Um... But I didn't want something that was too heavy, so I just put one that was almost empty. And this is my favorite for the winter time anyway. This is the Bath & Body Works Winter Candy Apple. So I've got that. Deodorant, because I'm always forgetting to put my deodorant on when I leave the house. I've got my regular glasses, which I have a case in the car. I need to put those in the case. And then Cooper's Little Cheetos and some fruit snacks for Cooper. He's also got a little juice box that I keep in there for him face mask, it's Mickey Mouse, some mucus relief, because we all know it's that time of year, and I have like four in there, it comes with like 15, but I have a full bottle that I keep at home, and then I keep one in my purse, because I feel a cold come on, I take this, and it knocks it out like that day, so, and then it has one little pocket right here, sorry, I was looking at two notifications that just popped up. And I keep like my pins and chapsticks in there. I have a hot holiday cocoa chapstick. These came in a three pack. 
caramel cream, sugar cookie. I just like to switch up my chapsticks, and I don't really wear makeup to work, so chapstick it is, and it kind of gives my face a glow. Um, and then I just have my favorite pens, which are the Paper Mate um, flares, and I just have three different colors. I have other colors, but that's just the three that I have right now. I've got a Bic Gelosity pen, which I really like. I find that this pen's a little bit more runny, so it's kind of like my last go-to pen. And then my other favorite pen is the Paper Mate Ink Joy, and it's in brown. So, oh, then I have a black one in that same color. So, that's all that's in my purse. I have another little hand sanitizer on here for Bath and Body Works, but yeah, a lot of hand sanitizer, but there's a lot of sickness going around. So that's all I keep in my purse. Um, sometimes I keep tape in there because I do ship out packages a lot, and so I'm always needing tape. Um, and that's why I keep a few dollar bills because I have to go and print out shipping labels. And so I like to have that and I don't have to come home and get it. So I usually keep a little bit of tape, just like cheap wrapping tape and um, usually maybe a pair of scissors. That usually stays in my car. And like I said, a few dollar bills and some change because I ship out packages so much that when I print the labels, they cost me like 10 cents a label. And so I like to keep change on me for that. So that's all that I keep in my purse, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.